Asia, which saw torrential rain this monsoon season. A major industry body in India is putting the onus on businesses to come up with green solutions. So can businesses solve the problem or do governments have to uh, lead by example? Well, Davina Gupta reports from Delhi. The metro in India's capital is not only convenient, but environmentally friendly too. The solar panels provide electricity to all of Delhi's metro stations. Having a green metro is a great start, but in a city which is one of the most polluted in the world, much more needs to be done to save the environment. And that's why, after taking the metro, many people are opting for this alternative ride. It's a battery-operated vehicle called the e-rickshaw. They constitute of about 30% of the rickshaw market here. And in fact, looking at how businesses need to contribute even more, there is an industry group that has met and are focusing on how to try and curb the situation before it goes out of hand. At a recent conference in Delhi, environmental activists call for companies to invest in technology that will cut their emissions. But there are obstacles. Countries such as India can't be expected to follow a single uh, policy objective of carbon mitigation because they have to address the question of energy access, energy security, energy affordability, uh, competitiveness, uh, addressing regional environmental issues. Scenes like this during this monsoon season have only highlighted the need for action. Much of South Asia has been ravaged by torrential rain, displacing tens of millions and killing more than 1,400 people. This is just the confirmation of the urgency of taking action. Um, so we have the institution in place, we have the political will of the Paris Agreement, we have the business interest, so it's really a matter of ma making this move faster and at a larger scale. The rickshaw market is already estimated to be worth $156 million and is expected to grow by 15% every year. And so there is also plenty of potential for investment in the products and services that will help clean up India's air. Divina Gupta, BBC News.